Hello guys, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we are basically going to be talking about everything getting added in this latest Box Boots update, which is confirmed to release the trailer tomorrow. The trailer is finally confirmed to release tomorrow, so to celebrate that, we are going to be talking about basically everything that is confirmed to get added in this update. So without further ado, let's get this video started. And since Kitsune is going to be releasing tomorrow, if we reach 50,000 subscribers, I will be doing a permanent Kitsune giveaway. And I think we are only a few hundred subscribers away from 50,000. And our goal is to do this before the update drops or once the update drops so we can finally do a permanent Kitsune giveaway just about after the update drops. So guys, if you want to be part of this giveaway, then help us reach 50,000 subscribers and join our Discord down below where the giveaway will be happening. And without further ado, let's get this video started. So first, I'll want to talk about, uh, there's actually only two things that are gonna get added in this update, I believe. So let's go take a look at the roadmap first. Now, the roadmap will give us an idea of how many stuff will be added in this update. Now, in a couple of videos ago, I already mentioned that most of the updates that they are going to be releasing aren't going to be that big. The updates that they will be releasing this year are going to be pretty small updates that aren't going to be that big or as big as update 20 or update 17 part 3. They're going to be relatively small. Okay, so the first one that we're going to be getting is Kitsune Food. It's already been confirmed. The next one, I think we're going to be getting the new sword. I think that's what this question mark is for. I think the new sword is going to be for... I think the question mark is going to be for the new sword. And then, they're also going to be giving us the boat repairing system that was uh, tweeted by Ripinja a while back, which in my opinion is going to make Leviathan hunting a lot easier. And this is going to be very, very awesome. So, let's go talk about the sword first because I feel like sword is such a massive thing. And I feel like it's going to be connected to Kitsune Fruit as well, which we are going to be talking about later. Okay, so the sword, the new sword, I feel like it would function a lot like Pole. And I feel like since um, Kitsune is going to act like Rumble, you're going to need to um, probably get Kitsune or get this sword to unlock a form of Kitsune, which we're going to talk about later. But this sword and Kitsune is most likely going to be related. And just like how Pole is related to Rumble, I feel like this sword is also going to be related to Kitsune, which in my opinion is going to be very awesome. Now let's talk about Kitsune. Now Kitsune is already confirmed to have a full form, which looks like this. And it's also confirmed to have um, nine tails. And we also have a hybrid form. Now this hybrid form is actually very, very awesome. And I'm going to say this right now, there's a lot of similarities with this and Kurama. Now Kitsune in One Piece actually doesn't look like this. Kitsune in One Piece looks very different from what we are seeing right now so i feel like this kitsune is taking more inspiration from naruto than it is from one piece so yeah and you guys know how um naruto has multiple forms like he has this cloak mode and he has his naruto the one where he summons uh, kurama um those are the modes that um naruto often uses and i feel like we're gonna have the same situation with kitsune so we have this hybrid form of kitsune that has like three tails and maybe can grow up to nine tails and then we have this full form now if you also watch naruto naruto actually had to do some training in order to unlock his full form to master his um kurama his tail beast form and i feel like we are going to be getting something very similar with kitsune and that's where this new map comes in so if you guys check this new map the new map actually has a rock in the background with kitsune engraved in it so what i feel like is gonna happen is the sword or maybe you're gonna need to get this sword in order to unlock that Kitsune and in order to get Kitsune's full form. Or maybe it's the other way around. So I feel like this sword or this stone right here in the background signifies that we are gonna have to do a quest in order to unlock Kitsune's full form. Now a lot of you guys are gonna be saying, well, Kitsune already released. How is it gonna get an awakening? Rip Indra himself said that it is going to be the fruit that will receive the most amount of work. It's gonna receive a ton of work compared to the other fruits that Blox Fruits has released. Which means it's very likely that they will go the extra mile and give Kitsune a little bit of a unique quest in order to unlock its full potential. It's not out of the picture and I most likely will be right and you most likely will be wrong because I've been right about most of my theories and this just makes the most sense considering the fact that Kitsune does take a lot of inspiration from the Tailed Beasts and Rip Ninja did himself sneak. Literally one of his moves is gonna be called like Tailed Beast Bomb or something like that. So those are the things that are gonna be added. It's mostly gonna center around this new sword and Kitsune and then this new realm which I think is gonna be related to each other but we're also gonna be receiving minor updates such as the boat repairing system which is gonna be a very awesome feature and I think we're gonna talk about this once the trailer drops and I will see you guys in a future video. Thank you guys for watching. 
Peace out, everybody. Bye.